Hello and welcome to another how to tutorial. Today we are going to make homemade essential oil. For this project I have some roses. They smell incredible, uh, but you can use anything you like from lemons, uh, lavender, whatever. Uh, it's the same way to do it. So the first thing you want to do uh, is pick the part where the essential oil is. Uh, in this case, it's in the leaves, so I have to pick them out. Okay, once you have the leaves, the next thing you want to do is get, get them in some water. Just get them wet. Uh, this is just to take some dust or whatever there is on them. Just put them in some water, just dip them in, make sure they're wet. See I have a lot of different roses here, that doesn't really matter, you can put as many types of flowers if you want, you'll just get that kind of scent, but it'll still work. Okay, now when you wash them, you need to dry them out. So I'm going to be using some paper towels. Just take some paper towels, put them down. Put the leaves on the towel. Now I am going to change towels later so they're completely dried out and I'll see you then and welcome back once your leaves are dried they don't have to really be completely dry just leave them for a couple of hours to dry and then you can continue with what we're doing what you need to do next is take a jar you can use a mason jar or any other type of jar just Put the leaves inside. Now try not to do this all at once. Just put some inside and then add your base oil. Uh, your base oil can be any type of oil. Uh, maybe the best type of oil uh, for this will be uh, would be uh, grapeseed oil. But from my experience, I've seen that you can do this with vegetable oil, olive oil. Any other type of oil so vegetable is cheaper so that's what I'm using at the moment so just put enough oil to cover it to cover the leaves and now just try to kind of mix them with the oil because you need the flowers the leaves to to get as much as uh, oil from them to the base oil When you have all your leaves inside the jar, uh, make sure they're well covered with, uh, with your base oil. Not too much of oil, just enough to cover them. Uh, now, many people uh, in the tutorials about doing essential oil at home uh, say that you should just leave this uh, for a couple of days, let's say three days, and just shake it up uh, once a day. Uh, but that doesn't really work for me because uh, the essential oil you get it's not strong enough so um, you have two choices here you can do that and wait for let's say a couple of days uh, shake it every day and then repeat the process with the same base oil and some amount of the essential oil and repeat the process a few times or you can do things the way I'm going to do which takes us to the next step so, we're here for the next step, which is the double boiling method. You take the jar and you put it uh, inside of a boiling water. We're going to do this a little bit differently because the water is not going to be boiling. So you'll just 
heat up the water. Uh, you're going to set it up on a really low temperature so it doesn't really boil but it's warm all of the time, it's hot. So that'll make your leaves uh, release more uh, of the essential oil. You need to heat it up and leave it on very low temperature for about five to six hours. Uh, you can easily leave it unattended, nothing bad is going to happen. Uh, it, it is not bad to come and shake it up a couple of times in those six hours. And I'll see you then. So we are here now at the final stage and that's straining. Just open the jar, take some kind of strainer and put the oil with the flowers right there. smells great. Now use your hands because that's the best way to get everything out of the flowers. You really want to get all of the oil out. Once you're done with that you want to take whatever you are going to store your oil in. I choose to do it in a jar. And after the strainer, you need to use uh, some kind of piece of cloth. Because straining this really good is important. Uh, if you leave any leaves inside, it will make it spoil in a while. So you gotta do this too. This is really important. And that's about it. You now have your essential oil. It smells incredible. You can use it in making your own homemade shampoo or Febreze or whatever you, you're, you're making. This is great stuff. Thanks for watching.